what's up? It's Kat. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in New York City and I brought along my brand new M3 Max MacBook Pro. So I thought it was a perfect opportunity to share with you guys a realistic first full day using this MacBook Pro. I'm going to share with you guys my honest and truthful opinions. I'm very excited for this day. It's beautiful outside. So let's go. You guys have to see my view. Like, look at this. I love it. So tired from the plane that I almost forgot I have a meeting in 10 minutes. So that's perfect. It is 11.50 right now and my battery is at 100%. I also just uploaded my unboxing and review and I have the iMac video coming out in 10 minutes as well. It's so funny how New York City hotels claim that this is a workspace in your hotel room. It is a tiny little corner. But I guess it makes me go out and go find a cafe to do some work from, which is good. But I'm just going to do my meeting from here real quick and then we're off because I need a coffee so bad. Okay, well, thank you both so much and have a great day. Thank you. Okay, Bye, guys. Sure. I'm excited. Thanks, Bye. guys. My meeting just finished and now it's time to eat. I am so hungry, but I also have to go edit Instagram Reels and TikToks. So let's go do that together downstairs. This is such a nice area to work from. It's so pretty. Just uploading some YouTube shorts right now. And then we're done. Look at my jacket in here. The sparkle is so fun. I'm headed up to my room right now to put this bad boy away so I don't have to carry him around the streets of New York and I'm gonna continue this video on my iPhone. I really feel like I'm heading to school walking around with this backpack. Something I noticed right now when I was editing is how quickly the new AirPods switch between my Mac and my phone. I'm always editing like Instagram Reels and stuff on Final Cut Pro and then airdropping myself to upload it to like Instagram Reels and TikTok and I hate when there's a little bit of a lag so this was so nice that it was just like so seamlessly seamlessly switching. I also just uploaded the unboxing and first impressions of this and so many of the comments you guys are saying on like Instagram and TikTok is how it's not even that dark. Certain lightings it is but right now like in bright light it doesn't look that dark so i randomly have really cool plans for tonight one of my really good friends chantelle is from new york and i hit her up i'm like girl i'm here all day let's do something so we are going to a clippers versus nicks game which is gonna be so much fun and we're going to dinner first i gotta get my work done now it is two o'clock i I'm really happy with the videos I uploaded already this morning and I got a bunch of work done while I was eating lunch and while I was having a coffee. So I think I want to head to another coffee shop and then maybe go shopping a little bit. Let's see. I am at 76% battery and it is 2 o'clock. Alright, let's search the best coffee shops in Soho. So I want to go somewhere cute. There's people working. That's going to be me soon, so that's a vibe. I am going to search it up on TikTok. I just trust TikTok opinions. This is so cute. Felix Roasting Co. I think that's it. That's where we're going to go. Let me call the Uber. I also just want to say thank you guys so much for all your support on my YouTube channel. If you have been following me on TikTok and Instagram, I've been on a TikTok and Instagram grind for like three years now maybe a little bit more but i am going hard and committed to being consistent on youtube and it's so much fun for me to make these long form videos and i'm just like appreciating you guys so much i'm having such a nice day already i also want to edit the beginning of this vlog so i'm gonna bring my sd card and then i'm also gonna edit some more instagram reels and tiktok also side note the camera quality on the iphone 15 pro max is so good like i could totally film a whole vlog with this i am carrying it around in this little pink backpack all day and it's honestly not too heavy at all which is pretty good for traveling but we'll see after i walk around all day <laughs> that's just my initial thoughts I'm not even gonna lie, I tried editing in the Uber and it made me so dizzy. 
so that actually didn't happen. We are finally at the cafe. I was gonna go to this place across the street, but then realized that this place, Perry and Hudson looked way cuter. So we're going there. Because I was by myself, they didn't want to see me. So we're going back here. That might be a problem. All right, I guess I'm not going there either because they don't allow laptops, which is fine. So I am at Joe and the Juice. I'm just editing this Instagram reel. It's so quick and easy for me to do it on Final Cut. It is so quick. It literally exported three gigabytes in a minute. Wow. It's currently 4.30, just got back to my hotel. I'm gonna watch some TV and enjoy my view, relax a bit until I have to head out to the dinner and game. Time to meet Chantel for dinner. I'm gonna Uber there. I'm tired, but I think I'm gonna hang myself up in the Uber. We're here, here she is, Cash. Hey. This is the truffle mac and cheese. I'm so excited to dig in. This is insane. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. Guys, it is almost midnight and I just got back to my hotel. Look at these gorgeous views at night. Gonna go on my MacBook Pro quickly to answer some emails. And then I got the event in the morning. I'm also going to remove a bunch of stuff from my dock that I don't need because I feel like it just wastes a lot of space here. Oh no. <laughs> I was just FaceTiming and I got that message. So time to plug it in and go to sleep. I gotta go take an Uber. I think I'm leaving my MacBook Pro at home and then I'm gonna come back from the event and check out all the footage. I'm back from the Sony event. It was awesome. I got to test out the new camera and lens. Oh, so much fun. I'm going to edit this video at the airport on the MacBook Pro. I was actually FaceTiming my mom just now on it. So got a little bit of use this morning, but let's go edit in the airport. I just made it to the airport. I got my Mac. I'm going to do some work here, some editing and emails. I have like an hour to do that. I usually travel with my 16 inch MacBook Pro and this is so much easier. I don't even mind sizing down a little bit on the display to be honest because of how light and compact it is. And also, I think it'll fit on the tray in the airplane, which will be really good and easier to do work. I know on like smaller planes, I kind of don't like whipping out my 16 inch MacBook Pro because I feel like it like gets in the way of other people and like takes up too much space so i'm excited to test that out on the plane i just got back from new york last night so i want to give you guys a little recap of my thoughts with traveling with the macbook pro i actually brought it again with me today i'm working downtown i have a shoot i'm filming some stuff i have to do a meeting in a little bit so i'm glad that i just put this in my bag with me and i'm gonna get more stuff done right now the biggest thing for me is how quickly videos render on this and i feel like when i'm traveling especially i have a lot of deadlines or i'm like leaving a hotel and i need the video to render that minute or at least in like five minutes and this thing does that so that's really great and i feel like i'm gonna travel with the macbook pro now instead of my m2 macbook air just because of how quick it is i always edit on a 16 inch so i was kind of surprised at how quickly i adjusted to the 14 inch and i feel like it's a perfect size especially if i'm traveling somewhere because it fits perfectly on the little tray at the airplane so I'm not in other people's way and it's really good at coffee shops. I feel like it doesn't take up too much space. 
I also like to carry around my MacBook in like a bigger purse when I go to work meetings and stuff. So the 14 inch is perfect size for that. In New York, I actually forgot the mic to my camera and I was a little worried because I wanted to have some nice crisp voiceovers. So I actually used the MacBook Pro as a mic and it sounded so crisp and clear. Mind you, I was also in a quiet space, but it sounded really good and I was so happy with the results on that. So that's another thing to consider if you're just starting out with content creation and you don't wanna to have to buy so much external stuff, you can just use this MacBook Pro as everything. The camera quality is really good. You can use like the webcam for certain shots and the mic is awesome. So I was watching Ted Lasso on the airplane, right? And I noticed that the display quality was so good on the screen and it was super bright. So yeah, I really enjoyed my trip to New York. I was really productive and the new MacBook was super solid. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really fun for me to make, especially because I was traveling alone. So it was fun to bring you guys along with me. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you very soon. Bye.